Today, we're going to compare two of the larger dog breeds in the world, the Newfoundland and the Bernese Mountain Dog. Welcome back to the Femrear Newfoundland Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviourist and I'm the founder here at FemreaCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly want to know about the incredible Newfoundland, then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect Newfoundland companions. So if you love the Newfoundland as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and you'll never miss a future Newfoundland video. So then let's dive into today's video and we'll compare two of the largest dog breeds in the world and what you should consider when choosing the right canine companion for you and your home. And if you're interested in larger dogs, this is the video for you as we're comparing two of the largest breed, the Newfoundland and the Bernese Mountain Dog. And let's see what it is we can find out about this glorious breed and where they differ. So first, let's take a look at their size. Both are large dogs, but the Newfoundland beats the Bernese Mountain Dog any day when it comes to sheer size where the Bernese Mountain Dog weigh measures up to around 27 and a half inches tall and weighs around 115 pounds. The Newfoundland beats this by going up to 28 inches tall and up to 150 pounds, which is quite a difference. They also do differ quite a bit, in, a bit in how they look. While both breeds have amazing coats that need to be brushed through at least once a week, the Newfoundland is usually black, brown, or perhaps grey, while the Bernese Mountain Dog is tricoloured with black and tan markings with a white bottom. They are quite striking, if I say so myself. Now, moving on to the purpose of these glorious breeds and how this works with family life as it might or might not drop in perfectly with you. Now, despite what one might think when it comes to these huge breeds, they were originally, originally working dogs. The Bernese Mountain Dog has multiple tasks at Swiss farms, pulling heavily loaded carts, driving cattle, guarding and protecting property and livestock. Now, the Newfoundland is a working breed as well, and he too has worked with pulling carts, but differently from the Bernese Mountain Dog. The Newfoundland did most of his work in water. He helped fishermen collect nets, but most famously, he was a notorious saviour for people in distress in the water. The Newfoundland is the water counterpart of the St. Bernard. Now, this leads us to energy levels of these beautiful breeds. Being such large dogs, one would think that they are both lazy and slow, but as a matter of fact, neither of them are. While none of them either need nor should exercise them heavily due to their size, both breeds do appreciate long walks in the forest, physical work and of course playtime with you and all of your family. Now the Bernese Mountain Dog is one of, the, the one of these two glorious breeds who has the slightly higher energy level than the Newfoundland. But if you're interested in extreme physical activities with your dog, neither of these breeds are for you. Because of that sheer size, they're just not suitable for extreme physical exercise or extreme physical working roles. Sorry to very quickly interrupt the video, guys. I just wanted to let you know, if you haven't done it already, over on our website, FenrirK9Leaders.com, we have a completely free quiz that I designed myself for you to be able to take. It asks you a few questions based on some of the things that I think are really important for what guard dog breed will be perfect for you. So you go through that quiz, you answer the questions honestly, and then at the end, it will give you what I think the perfect guard dog breed for you is and again it's completely free just trying to help you guys out as much as we can so again there'll be a link down to it in the description box below if you haven't done it already go even if you're not necessarily interested in getting a guard dog breed anytime soon i know a lot of people have found it really fun just to see what kind of breed i would recommend for you so get stuck in go and have a look but without further ado we'll get back to the video you were just watching so then what about their difference when it comes to training them? Well, think of it this way. The Bernese Mountain Dog has worked for its people on land and has developed a deep wish to please its people. The task he's done has needed him to work with his people and he didn't necessarily have to make many decisions for himself. The Newfoundland, on the other hand, doing a lot of work in the water where he may not have been able to follow his handler's lead at any given moment, he had to develop the ability to start making decisions based on what it had in front of him and making those decisions for itself. 
Now, don't get me wrong, both breeds are willing to please their owners. They are both intelligent and easy to train, but the Bernese Mountain Dog might be one notch higher on the scale than the Newfoundland because of its extra ability to work with somebody and the desire to seek guidance and direction, whereas the Newfoundland's a little bit more independent and then potentially slightly more stubborn. But again, do not get me wrong, both of these breeds are very trainable and an absolute joy to work with. So I hope you enjoyed that quick breakdown of some of the more important elements of these two incredible dog breeds and hopefully that might help you choose which one is the better fit for you. If you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget we've got two new videos coming to this channel every single week so if you want to see more about this incredible breed don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I cannot wait to speak to you here on the next episode.